Jane and I'm a convert for personalised health. It all began three years ago. I worked hard to look after my family and two children. My husband and I were both living hectic lives and didn't pay much attention to our own health. Our health provider, Green Cube, had access to something called Big Data. Anonymous data collected about lifestyle habits, shopping habits, all those sorts of things. It gives my health provider a kind of map of who's at risk the most. It turns out I was targeted in the state of being in the at-risk zone. This is where I found out about the National Prevention Scheme. I opted in to receive a text from a health provider. There was a lot of help available, social media, personalised TV channels, but to be honest, I felt fine so I didn't pay any attention to the fact that I was at high risk and just carried on with life as normal. I was a little run down, but name a working mother with two kids who isn't. It wasn't really until a couple of years later that I first noticed it. I saw a screen about the side effects of diabetes, and it spooked me. I looked online for locations for a test kit. Fortunately, there was one just round the corner. I did a de-skilled test kit. I don't know how it works, but I do know it costs less than a loaf of bread. It didn't hurt a bit and was really easy to use. The results came through instantly. At the time, I was petrified. I had no idea what having diabetes meant, or how to cure it. I was sent a list of specialists who were available near me. I was instantly connected with someone who I could video chat with on my TV. I used my fingerprint scan to give her access to put my personal record. She could see some of the other healthcare data of mine. Actually, a lot of it came from the National Preventive Scheme I joined. The specialist concluded I had diabetes. She authorised drug treatment there and then and also prescribed a healthcare app to help me monitor my health. The prescribed drug arrived the next morning and a repeat prescription was set up. One particular app was amazing. It had a little avatar you could choose, who would basically look after you, recommend social media groups of people like me with type 2 diabetes. Anyway, I was feeling much calmer about everything, and decided I was going to take charge of my lifestyle. I could now talk to people, and my avatar. I was given ideas for exercise to fit my life, diet, all kinds of things. And it all worked, no matter what device I was on. Of course, me being me, I fell off the wagon pretty much the next day. It all seemed so daunting, and such a massive change. I had no idea how I was going to fit it all in. But this is exactly what the avatar is for. He noticed I was depressed by some of my chats on social media and I hadn't logged into my running group. He reminded me the hardest part is starting. Six months down the line and things started coming together thanks to the support of my healthcare avatar. Shopping became easier, my wearable technology would show me the best foods to buy and recommend healthier options for my kids. I was also sent reminders to take medication. I wear a patch that monitors my heartbeat, my glucose level, tracks my exercise and when I take my drugs. It all felt like a game really. It genuinely worked and I started to change my lifestyle dramatically. Taking control of my health finally felt easy. In fact, the last time I saw my GP was over two years ago. Anyway, a few years later from when it all began, here I am. I'm not cured but I feel a hundred times better. I keep a close eye on all the data, just a simple little app on my phone tells me how I'm doing. It's amazing! Technology really is the future of healthcare. I hope this helps you on your journey to smarter health. Does anyone have any questions?